Meanwhile, this morning, students from Edmund Burke School will return to class just days after a gunman opened fire, injuring four people, including a 12 year old child. Resources will be available for students and staff who return to the building today. Nicole D'Antonio joins us live from the Van Ness neighborhood with an update. Good morning, Nicole. Hey, Tony, good morning to you. You know, as we've been out here, we have seen signs posted all around the community saying that they are with the school flowers actually on the steps behind me in front of that school today being the first time that students returned to the building since that shooting happened. And the big question that people still want to know is why this happened and was this school targeted in this shooting? So take a look at this video here because this morning we do know the uh, alleged shooter being 23 year old Raymond Spencer. Now, DC Police Chief Robert Conti saying that Spencer allegedly fired 200 rounds from his fifth floor apartment, injuring four people, including a 12 year old and a former police officer. Now, we also know that he did this before taking his own life and surveillance video from inside that apartment complex showing Spencer rolling a suitcase into the building the night before the shooting. Students right here at Edmund Burke School sheltered in place for hours following that shooting before they were finally reunited with their parents around 645 Friday evening during the city's public safety meeting. Chief Conti said that they also found a camera recently installed on the floor outside of his apartment. It was absolutely uh, for the purposes of uh, seeing law enforcement as we uh, as we progressed uh, down the hallway inside of his bathroom uh, where he ultimately ended his life. He had like a little command center. Now, during that news conference, the police chief also said Spencer had four long guns and two handguns in his apartment and that three of those long guns were constructed, so they were fully automatic. Spencer also had been renting out a separate apartment in Fairfax County where police found three additional guns and even more ammunition. Now, back here live again, I want to show you just the flowers that are outside of the school building here. Again, students and staff will return to class after being closed yesterday. We are told that counseling services will be available for those students. And as for the victims of the shooting, police tell us that two of those shooting victims remain in the hospital in critical condition this morning. Guys, we will continue to follow the story closely.